My name is Kerry Stamp. I'm a certified financial planner, and I'm also an accredited investment fiduciary. When you're a fiduciary, it means that you have a requirement to place the interests of your clients ahead of your own. That's what I want to talk about today, because I want to let you in on a little secret, and that's how financial advisors get paid to do the work that they do. You see, not every financial advisor gets paid exactly the same way. There really are two different mechanisms. The first one is that some financial advisors are paid on a fee basis. What this means is that they either charge you an hourly fee or they charge you a percentage. And that's often a percentage of the assets that they're managing for you. So if they're managing a million dollars for you, they might charge you $10,000 a year, or that equates to 1%. If they're working on an hourly basis, they're gonna charge you some hourly fee. It could be 200, 300, $400 an hour, depending on the experience of that particular financial advisor. And if you are creating a financial plan with an advisor, you might expect to pay both of those fees because the financial planning process can be very complex and when you're working with an advisor, they should be looking at everything that you have to come up with a really comprehensive and robust plan. The second thing is that people are often uh, choosing to pay their financial advisors wittingly or unwittingly on a commission basis. So in this particular uh, scenario, it's a transaction. So you buy a stock or you buy an, a fund and they charge you some type of a commission every time that you have a transaction. Typically, a transaction fee can be anywhere between one and two and sometimes more as a percentage. There are still mutual funds that charge loads, which means a front-end charge or commission, in excess of 5%. And that comes off of the money that you're investing at the very top or the very beginning of the process. In this fee-based scenario, when you make an investment in a fund or an ETF or a stock or a bond, you're generally not paying any of these types of commissions to be able to do this. The other thing that you need to be very careful about is that it's quite easy for a commission-oriented advisor to be able to hide fees or expenses inside of the products that they are selling to you. If you're someone who has an advisor that is selling a lot of products that have no uh, transaction fees, maybe they're indexed annuity products or they're what are called structured notes or structured products, or they're unit investment trusts. All of those types of products have some type of fee, or if they don't have a direct fee, they at least have a substantial profit for the company that's issuing them. And those are often not fully disclosed and people don't quite understand what they're paying. So if you're buying those types of products from a broker, and usually these are the big brokerage houses that are not investment fiduciaries, then you could be paying a lot in fees that you don't even know about. On the other hand, a fee-based advisor has no incentive to sell you high commission products. A fee-based advisor should be looking at the expenses that are inherent in the products that you're purchasing. So you could buy a fund, an investment mutual fund, from company A that charges 0.20% or one-fifth of 1% 1 because it has very low fees and expenses. And most of our clients choose to use these types of products. Likewise, you could buy a fund over here and pay a commission to buy that fund. And instead of charging you 0.2%, it could charge you 1.2%. Now the advisor might tell you that you don't have a load on that product, but that particular advisor, if he or she is using what is called a class C share, is actually earning a commission that you almost never see it, but there's 1% taken out of your investment every single year to pay them a fee. And there are many cases telling you that there's no charge or no fee or commission uh, to be able to purchase that product. You need to look at this stuff very carefully. And you should also ask your advisor if they're a fiduciary, because a fiduciary has an obligation and a duty to disclose to you exactly what you are paying them. I'm happy to share more of this information if you want to call us directly and talk to any of our fiduciary advisors at Kerry Stamp & Company. I'm Kerry Stamp, and this has been a Principled Wealth Moment.